Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is JC and I am a part-time thrifter to resell, to flip what I find in the thrift stores, to resell, to help fix up our little farm ranch house here on our farm. So glad you can join. I'm going to share with you today the haul I got from my local thrift store. It is literally probably four or five miles from our farm and all clothing there is one dollar. So let's get started. I've got some things down here on my left and some things behind me. 30 items for $30. Here we go. So the first one I found um, the first one I have here is a, it's called a rustic denim, den, denim, and I'm going to be better about making sure, I think in my last video, it was hard to see the tags. But anyway, this is a size 2X, really nice denim jacket. Um, probably, I don't think I have this one listed yet, but it's just really cute. It's even got a little authentic denim tag on the back here if you can see that very nice and it has the two front pockets it's just really cute you can see that so um i may put 25 on this and see how that does this jacket i do have listed already and it is amazing it's a chico's jacket embroidered look at that isn't that just beautiful embroidery along the back, the detail, and also along the front. It's just a, an amazing jacket. And this is a size one, which I believe is a medium. I believe it's a medium. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but even the collar has and it is in just amazing condition. There are the buttons. So yeah, was thrilled to find this hanging on the racks, waiting for me to pick it up. You know, I'm, I'm thrifting and trying to source things that are going into fall and winter. This is a hip, this is called Hippie Rose, and this is a faux suede. Let's see if that would pick up here. There we go. And this, it feels really nice. It's a large, but it's almost more like a shacket, and that's how I'll list it. It does have front pockets, and it just really is um, a soft uh, feel. This is a, I believe it's a, typically I don't pick up polyester, but I did this time on this one just because of style and how it felt. So polyester and spandex. Again, polyester is not a typical one I pick up and I like to go towards, my first thing is style and then I go to quality and then I go to brand. So um, I might put 20, maybe 20 on this one. Hippie Rose can is a hit or miss on some comps. So I don't typically pick up this brand either as soon as that, but these are cotton blend and they have, it's kind of like a straight leg. I did list these and I'll put up what I listed these for, but isn't that just adorable? So boho, I love animal print. And the other thing was, is it's in a size 10. So if it was a smaller size, I probably would not have picked them up, but so these are listed already. This is a great cardigan. Again, this is not typically a brand I pick up, but for a dollar and knowing I probably could get, see if I can get the full effect in here. Um, it is a small, but a bit oversized. Maybe the arms are pretty much a small. Oh, no, see, I'm a medium. And um, it's got some... I love this because it's got the little cinch ties here on the side. So it has these strings that draw up the sleeve there. And 
Yeah, it says size small, which I believe in Kato they run a little big for their sizes typically. So, and again, this is acrylic. Um, I don't typically pick up acrylic, but this would be, look how long it is. This would be a great uh, cardigan for someone, whether it's just loungewear or um, throwing it over something coming this fall. I do have this piece listed. This is a basic torrid top. Is it inside out? <laughs> a little bit there we go um i liked the style of it and the size it's just a basic um stretch jersey knit i went thrifting today today i'm recording this on sunday the 30th and let's see if that picks up there we go there it is and so this is a size two, which I believe that means a two X. I'll put that up on the screen. Newer tags, I believe in Torrid are starting to put the actual size on there, but it has a crisscross back, a ladder um, stitch around the neckline and this ruffle here underneath. So this is a great basic and really nice to, even for the fall, put a jean jacket over top of it. And I picked this up cable and gauge again this I believe you can get this at um, if I'm not mistaken I think you can get it at like TJ Maxx and stuff but this was very boho wait for my thing to there we go and um, I love the fl flowers on it the flowers on the back that comes in and it is a medium so again if it was in a small I probably wouldn't have picked it up and I believe this is both a cotton, oh no, it's a viscose, 100% viscose. So you can't go wrong with that. Very soft, very lightweight, and wonderful. I picked this up not so much for the brand, but for the style and the size and the, the fabric. It's, it's cotton. It's a unique spectrum is the brand. I'll show you that. And it is a size 2X, but look. So cute. Look at the sleeves. You can see those. And also the hemline has that same lace crochet along the bottom. Very pretty. It's, it is lightweight, kind of sheer. I haven't listed this. I have a lot of work <laughs> ahead of me to do um, because I did go thrifting again today and got some things. So my next haul will be um, my next haul will be a Goodwill Benz haul, probably about 50 pounds worth of clothing to show you to share with you guys. All right. So again, I'm thinking about fall. I found this really um, cute jacket that is in excellent condition. Again, this is not something I'm actually looking for all the time, but it came in large and it's a great staple for the fall. Very well made. The color is definitely something people are looking for now for fall. So that is great. I don't remember if these have, they don't have side pockets, but they have these front zipper pockets and I thought the detail in the back which was really cute this little um, hook you can hang or I just thought that was a really nice detail and this is um, cotton pretty sure most times jeans jackets and stuff are cotton and yeah so 62% cotton and a little polyester and spandex for that stretch because it does have a nice stretch to it but I love I just love the details you know, you can tell when something's made well, um, you know, just by some of the details that are on it. So this will be great for someone size large, perfect fall. Um, this one I got for style as well. And again, I try to get all sizes. Um, so anything animal print boho and this is a petite small but it is oversized as you can see and because uh, i'm a medium <laughs> and yeah so it's got some bling to it around the neck 
and some along the bodice. If you can see that shimmering there. So sweet. I have to list this. So I have not listed this. A lot of the stuff that's hanging behind me in the haul, I have listed. I'm starting to pick up more men's items that I find that I really think would sell. This is a um, feather novelty print. I looked this up. It wasn't like a, like a necessarily a big sought after brand, but again, it is cotton. It is a, I think it's an XX. Yeah, it's a double X large for men. And I just thought this would be really great for somebody. So if you can see the cuffs there in great condition, doesn't even look like it's been worn. So that is great. Oh, that this one I was ecstatic about finding. This is a vintage Talbots leather, 100% leather skirt with a lining on it. See that? And size 18W or is that 16W? 16W. I did put this up and I really didn't put it up for much. I believe I probably could have put it up for 45. Um, but it's just great. It's got this elastic on the side, but I think I might have only done maybe 38. I'll put it up on the, up on the screen. I've been really busy trying to get things, trying to get things done. Okay. This is a Chico's size two, a basic, uh, long sleeve shirt, really pretty print and a floral boho. The sleeves kind of come to a little wide at the, at the end. So this one is a, a nylon spandex. So it kind of feels like that stretch jersey knit, but again, a dollar, um, I'll probably put 20 on it thinking I might get somewhere around 18. We'll see on this one. Again, when you have your low cost of goods, it makes a big difference and it helps. Um, but you still want things to be able to move in your store. And I was so excited because I sold um, several things today. Just unexpected. Just someone's like, yep, I want that. I don't know if this is going to show. This is a Columbia, Columbia shirt for men's. It is a large. I would have loved to find this in a, like an extra large or an XX large. But it's a PFG. This will pay for my haul, basically. <laughs> this one will pay for my haul. That jacket would probably pay for my haul. Can you see that? There we go. It's kind of faded a little bit, but the shirt itself is, it looks great. So yeah, with the pockets and just the different logo spots. And even on the back here, you can see, yeah. So this will be a great men's shirt for somebody. I will get that up here soon. I can't help but pick up lace or crocheted tops. How sweet. This is phase one. And again, it's not like a high brand that people are looking for, but this is cotton. It has all the style to it. And yeah, it's so cute. Can go over something uh, and love the tassels at the, the end. It's like these little teardrop crochet fringe. Very nice. All right, let me get some stuff from behind. Okay, I found this dress hanging up. It is so pretty. It's a 22W. And here is the tag. You can see that. The fabric is very soft. And I love the crisscross design in it. Let's see if I can hold it up and be able to show y'all all of it. Um, I'm pretty sure this was, um, again, I love the style of it and the size. And I think this is, if I can find, oh, that's right. The tag is cut out of it. So I believe it's a cotton blend because I looked it up. It does have a nice neckline. It's nice to have that inner fabric because there's a fabric inside that kind of folds that folds down and it holds that neckline so it gives an extra support there but this is just really pretty I believe I do have this listed 
Again, I'll put that on. <laughs> I'm having a hard time staying on on the screen. Here is another dress I got. This is a vintage sunbelt dress. And this is a size large and it's never been worn. It has the extra buttons hanging on the dress. It is a maxi, almost a duster length buttons, mother pearl buttons all the way down the bottom. Isn't this adorable? So a lot of my keywords, I did lag and look, I did cottage, core, um, and this is linen. So it's a hundred percent linen. How awesome is that? Love it. It does have side pockets that sold me even more. <laughs> and I do have this listed. I have to completely reorganize all my stuff because I had a rack fall down. So hopefully my daughter, my oldest daughter will be over here soon to help me reorganize everything. That would be a huge help. Let me grab some more stuff. This is a two piece Soma pajama set. And this was, there it is <laughs> um, together. So I paid a dollar for this set. I love the top it's and the bird house, bird floral motif on it. And then the back of the shirt is lace. Now the top is a medium and I do have this listed and the bottom is a small, it does have pockets. So, and there's hardly, I mean, minimal wash wear to these. It's just adorable. So yes, I have these listed. I've got this pile forming back on my bed. Okay, this next shirt I found was, um, it didn't have tags in it, but I, I grabbed it because of the, I love embroidery. I love, it's got a little ribbed sleeve there. You see that? And it just was just really cute, really boho. I love stuff like that. So I did a search and this is actually an anthropology um, LIV, a Los Angeles shirt. And yeah, so I was happy I picked that up. So I have to size it. I believe it's a medium just by looking at the measurements from the armpit to the armpit. I think they cut all the tags out, but I know this is a viscose uh, cotton blend and I'll put that in the listing. I think I put this up already actually. Yes, I think I did. This, I did put it up. It just, the pictures d does not do it justice. So this is a brand that I hadn't heard of before and, but the feel of it was like really soft and it's got these little velvet ties in the front and the ruffled hemline. So as I started to research a little bit more, I realized that there is rabbit hair in here along with some other, um, yeah, some other fabric and the sleeves kind of ruffle and bell a little bit, but I just thought this was adorable. It says an extra large and I, I measured it out. It does fit that way, an extra large, but, and maybe it stretches, but the sleeves look really small. Um, but again, my pictures on Poshmark didn't do it justice. It's just adorable. So adorable. Let me see what the fabric content is again. Um, yeah, cotton, viscose, angora from rabbit. So yeah, and I love the knit on it. It's just really pretty knit. I wish I would have gotten like better pictures. I might go back and retake some pictures because it's really cute. This is uh, Weekends by Chico's. So I do have this one listed. Um, and this is a really lightweight, almost like a, a, a break, uh, windbreaker jacket. I love the exposed button snaps. These are all buttons, but it looks like it's reversed, which is really cool. I thought that was a neat, um, nice pockets that are also buttoned. And it's just a really 
great throw on jacket. It is smocked in the back for an elastic gathering, gives it a little bit of style. Yeah, and also you can button up the wrists and the collar has a little slight a bit puff in it for the collar to, yeah, I thought this was really cute. And this is a size one, so I, I'm pretty sure I have this one listed. Um, and I believe that is a medium, I have to check. I'm still getting my Chico sizing down. <laughs> this one I have listed and I have a lot of attention on it right now. And this is 100% linen. See if I can get my tag up there. And, all right, maybe I have to pull it down some. <laughs> there we go. And, yeah, it's 100% linen. It is in a 3X. I actually did a picture on my Instagram of the linen, um, this linen top and some linen shorts and, and my sandals. Just pulled stuff from my closet and did like a little, a little picture of it. Um, but love the bell ruffled sleeves. How cute is that? It's got the teardrop opening the back with a button. I mean, it's just, and for Cynthia does pretty well on Poshmark. I did pull that, but as soon as I saw this, I'm like, oh yeah, this is, this is coming home in a dollar. Like, yeah. So this, I don't know how necessarily how to pronounce this brand, but um, some of the items does, more substantial items do pretty well. And again, when you can buy an item for a dollar, this is faux, faux um, suede love that it's got the edging around the wrists and along the neckline here it is just really nice jacket the zippers are just for aesthetics they're not it's just a design there's no pockets but this could definitely work even as a blazer for business or with a t-shirt and jeans that would be adorable and this is a size Petite extra large. So cute. Love it. I picked up this quintessential, you know, denim top. This brand is not like highly sought after, but even getting it for a dollar, you know, I liked the extra large extra large size the three-quarter sleeves that have a style are you know already to them you could just put on a pair of leggings and some tennis shoes and head out to run errands very simple it is a bit sheer so probably a cami underneath as well um you know i just think i get fall vibes with stuff like this you know pumpkin patch and festivals and things i mean it'd be great all right so this <laughs> Girl Crazy is not a brand that I would typically pick up, um, but if you can see why I picked it up. Love the buttons down the front, the fabric covered buttons, the tie waistline, and these great sleeves here that ruffle at the end and bell out. So definitely I picked this up and this is 100% cotton and it is a medium so very cute okay next I do like this brand there are several things I've gotten in this brand and they do sell but this is a really cute jacket it's like a shirt jacket I mean there's no pockets in it but just the embroidery on it look at that so pretty I don't have this one listed yet like I said I've got a lot to do this is all along the shoulders you see that and then a slight little ruffled sleeve so cute and scalloped wrists with buttons let me see if I can get this yeah you can see that yeah so you can button it up um, again it's pretty sheer so you need something underneath of it regardless of whether you button it up or not next piece I have is a new with tags and Avenue is again not something I pick up um, like there's a lot of these I wouldn't pick up at a regular Goodwill store uh, just because of the sell-through rate and things. But this was listed at 44. I believe I have put this up. 
Um, but the beading around the neck, I thought that was really pretty. And the size, which is a 18 to 20, it's got a elastic waistband and long lines there. And the sleeves are kind of like a, I don't think like a more of a doman sleeve or a bat sleeve, but yeah, really pretty. This would be so flattering on, uh, definitely. And what, again, could be wear with a, a, <laughs> some jeans or you can dress it up. So yeah, definite on that one. <laughs> New with tag. All right, I found this bomber jacket at my thrift store as well. And this is, um, I mean, it's not like a highly sought after. There's, it, it just depends on the type of jacket. I think this one will do well just because of the faux leather. And it's almost like a biker jacket with the zippers on the side, but also a bomber jacket. Um, I love the crisscross zipper in the front, which you can see, or the button, it's buttons and zippers along the front here. Oh no, this one, this is the one that just has zipper along the front, but see how it's sideways. So it really gives that um, bomber, military, uh, biker kind of look. And yeah, it's just really cute. I am still picking up some summer things because you know, for our family, we don't go on a vacation until September. So right around my birthday is when we go on a vacation. So I know there's some people that are the same or they're always looking, maybe they're going to someplace cooler, uh, even though we're going into, I mean, going to someplace warmer, even though we're in, um, going into cooler weather, which is my favorite summer. I can't do this, but this is just an old Navy, but the size and the style, it is a jumper love it cinched waistline with a with a tie so i did put this up and this is i believe a linen blend if i remember correctly you know so you think of old navy as mall brand but it, like i said i look at style i look at fabric so very soft and even though this is a substantial piece it's relatively lightweight someone will enjoy that I wish it was in my size is this is the brand here and again I liked this I got it and it's, it says it's a 1x um, very sheer beautiful color nice soft feminine color and let me get my sh shoulders around here I uh, loved the you know button-up sleeves it's a pull over because it's got the buttons part way down and some faux pockets. Actually, no, those are real pockets. <laughs> those are real pockets. That's very cool. Nice deep V-neck. Yeah, I just thought this was great. Again, I believe it is a cotton blend. It feels like gauzy. So I'll put that also in, and I don't have a tag. I'll put that in the listing, that cotton gauzy material. It definitely is a blend with something. I'm going to do some research and see if I can find that. But isn't that really pretty? So pretty. Okay, guys. Well, I have to get this back put away again and make my pile that hasn't been listed yet. So I can get those things listed. Stay tuned. And about a day or two, I'll have another haul video about 50 pounds from the Benz on two trips that I went to. So that's two trips. And I'll be sharing that one with you with a few surprises because typically I only get, you know, bread and butter brands with a couple of surprise vintage things, but I found some really great new items for me to be able to find. And I was just really thrilled. And that was one of my thrift hauls today. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the video and hit that bell button so that you get notified and let me know below. Are you a reseller? Are you thinking about reselling or do you just like to thrift for your family? I'm new to the game, so I've been doing it for three months now and I just want to share my journey with you. So I hope you enjoy next time. See you then. Bye.